Eric, we're going to check out the Rosemond Gifford Zoo in Syracuse, New York. If you get married here at the zoo, this is the reception area. And they have wedding options. That's a unique wedding. Wow, look at all those stuffed animals at the gift shop. Giant Pacific octopus. He's holding, he's holding onto that boat for dear you life. You see him? Oh, there he is. Yeah. There must be food in it. Uh, he ate all the fishies there. He's attacking the submarines. See There's that? a fishy right there. He's like, hey, what's up? You see the starfish up there? There's an octopus inside that little cave. Cool. It's a good thing Eric ate at McDonald's because the jungle cafe seems to be closed. Perfect day to visit the zoo. On a Monday, there's no one here, so we get to explore minus the crowds. Daddy, there's an animal in here. There's an animal here? No way, I don't what believe it. Look at the leopard, he's coming to say hello. You see him, mister? Whoa, Michelle, get over here. Check this out. You don't even see him coming so close. Get out, there you go. They usually hide the very shy cats. The fact that he came out this close. Eric, can you stand next to that window and I'll take a picture of you, mister? Can you please get out for a second? Okay, okay. Look at those, look at those spots, Eric. He lives in the jungle, see that? He's a predator, top predator in South America. Uh, this trip was worth it just to see this guy. Yeah, you never see them. He's he's young. He's still not fully grown. It's a kitten here. to say hello wow look at him get get up there see that is he gonna get on that tree let's see him get up there wow look at that eric see how he climbs so quickly now he's gonna chill on this porch yeah but it's a porch Did you know Komodo dragons can consume up to 80% of their own body weight in one meal? Just like me? He's just bathing under the sun, Eric. Under the, the heat lamp. Looks like a dinosaur. Look at all those different colors on his back. Let's see what else we can find here. 
No, there's a porcupine in here. Oh, cool. Well, I didn't know they could climb. I think he might be coming down. Oh, he's eating something. Jeez. Oh my goodness, look at how yellow his teeth are. Dang, bro. Are you going back outside? Oh, what's that? Oh, there's still the rainforest. over here. Green tree python. There is a python in here. They said that there was another porcupine in here. Oh, it's... Yeah. Oh, look, they're going to feed him. There he goes. He's coming out. He's over there. He's, he's in that little dwelling. It'd be cool if he came out to eat his corn on the cob. He's not taking the bait. I do like how they painted the ceilings. Colobus, Colobus monkey. It says, it says, we're not sad, this is just our face. <laughs> That's cute. He's just, look at his tail. Doesn't he look, look like at, a skunk? Look at this guy. He's just looking out there like, yeah. He's like, I want to go outside. There's another one I missed way up here. See him? Oh, there's monkeys outside. No way. Yeah, there's a, there's a chimpanzee outside in the... What? Yeah. That's got to be a new... He's over... He's sitting next display. to the window. Wow, look at those flamingos, babe. Didn't know they had flamingos here. And there's a baby duck. Several baby ducks. Look at that, how cute he is. Face. Hi. Oh, you're 
stretching, we are stretching. There's Pumba. Tigers, wolves, and penguins. That away. The penguin exhibit. The wagon is definitely the way to go when bringing the little guys out to the zoo. What'd you find? A wolf? Yeah, a gray wolf. What? Oh, there he is. Yeah, he's coming this way. He's so pretty. She's so pretty. Can we pet him? Hold on, Eric. Oh, there's another one over there. Wow, look at that. The gray wolf is coming out. Let me see your face. Okay. Here we have a camel. He's perched up way up on that hill. There's two of them. Do you think that that wolf gets irritated that he can't get to them? To the camel? Probably. Yeah. <laughs> Considering the wolf enclosure is right above or underneath mm -hmm. them. Just the sense of smell probably drives them nuts. It's like smelling a turkey in the oven and not being able yeah. to get to them. <laughs> we haven't seen the tigers yet, Eric. Oh gosh, there's one. We better hide. Are we going to find a tiger back here? Oh, snap! The Siberian tiger. The most lethal cat on the planet. How big is a big cat's appetite? Tigers and other large predators need a lot of food to survive. They're not always successful when they hunt and may only catch prey once a week. When Amur tigers do catch an animal, they may eat up to 75 pounds of meat in one meal, which equals to 300 burgers, uh, Burger King Whoppers. That's a lot of Whoppers. Are we going to be able to see them, you think? Oh, there's one way down there. There's a second one, Eric. Yeah. 
Careful, please. Oh, yeah. Hi, Pa. Take a picture of it. Oh, there, he's coming up. He's coming up. He's debating. <laughs> Or maybe he's gonna jump over the tree. Vastok PS Piesnaya Stancia Normir 3. That's what it says in Russian. Station 3. You can see it. Right over here. This used to be filled with water. Oh, they emptied the water. It looks like they're starting to fill it though. There's water running through it. Oh yeah, they'll be swimming in here shortly. That's going to be a sight to watch. The Amur Tiger enclosure. Approaching the Asian Elephant Preserve. Love the new Nikes. Match my shorts. And the wagon too. That's awesome. Let's see. Eric, look at the elephant. He's coming out, bud. Eric, come here, Michelle. Check this out. Oh, there's three of them. And this the building here. See. All the elephants are oh, there's no three. Look straight ahead. Look couple straight ahead. Do you see there? Do you see them? Yep, there's see, several. Jeez, but he's there's coming three in. Of them. I think they're waiting in line to go out. Yeah, they're all, all, all three of them are out, I think. This is where hang out they hang out in the winter time. Yeah. Oh yeah, here. See I told you they were coming they were waiting in line. Yeah, let's go check them out. There's a baby one. Come on, let's go. Eric, come on. Drinking her. Must be Karina? No.
already took pictures of it. Explorers play space. Hey, guys. hey Eric. Turkey vultures. Those guys are huge. Looks like we're taking a mini break from all this walking. Explorers Outpost. Let's go check it out. Ooh. An elephant skull. Some fancy art. Elephants and deer. That's kind of cool, an actual skull, maybe. Not sure if it's real. A lynx skull. You really don't want to get bitten by these bad boys. Is that you in the mirror? Is Eric hiding? I'm gonna find you. I see you, I see you. Mm. Yeah, we can, uh, we can run into this. Do you want some sunscreen, though? Who's this guy? He's a raven. A white neck raven. A white neck raven. Yeah, and, um, sorry, you could baby. definitely tell why he's here, because look at his foot. Yeah. You probably can punch. I'm going to ask one time. Hold on, one time. So, looks like he's flicking me off. He's looking at the camera. Hey, bud. Stop. Get off of it. I said get off of it. Get off. 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 The beard owl. I just put him in the in indoor closure. He's like not turn off. Hey, bud. What you doing it's up there? Um, red tails like stellar back here are like your average size, what you think of when you think of a hawk. Um, they're they're one of the bigger ones um, in North America. Look at this. We have rough legged hawks that are also. About that size, maybe a bit bigger, and then ferruginous hawks. Um, ferruginous hawks are the largest in North America. Um, but uh, yeah, the Harris hawks are medium to small size. Um, but what they lack in their ability to catch on their own is what they make up for with that pack mentality. Um, so a, a Harris hawk by itself couldn't catch a rabbit. Um, but what they do is they chase the rabbit into its burrow. Um, and then two birds, two, you know, a couple birds will start actually using their talons and there's only one video docu like documented instance of this that I know of. They start digging out that burrow and it scares the rabbit out the other side, but the hawks have already pre-mapped that burrow and those exits. So the rest of the pack is waiting for that rabbit outside that second entrance. Um, and then they grab it there and then they all share the food. Very cool. Who's this? Pinocchio. It's Dominic the donkey. He said no. He no, said he disagrees. What the? What was that? Oh, let's go inside this barn. Animal farm. There's some goats over there. This might be one of the, I think this is like the last display at the, at the zoo here.
Someone's making a lot of noise back there. Who's making all that noise, Eric? Oh, he's ready to eat. This is going to be great. He came at the right time. Let's they're going to have to play outside. Oh, you're just yelling at you, huh? Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, you're yelling at her. <laughs> That's so funny. He eats like someone I know. I just can't put my finger on it. See, this is what a baby kid looks like. I think this wraps up our trip to the zoo. It was fun. It took us about an hour to walk the entire zoo, maybe an hour and a half, but I enjoyed it. Especially with this beautiful weather. And the smartest thing you can do as a parent is bring that for your kid so you don't have to listen the whining. Eric, say bye to the zoo. And this is their little animal hospital where they perform surgeries. And here we have the kitchen. And there's the exit sign. The Curious Gift Shop. Curious Cub Gift Shop. Those are cool umbrellas. Michelle, do you like these umbrellas? Oh, I like the frogs. Very cool. All right. Well, it's nice to cool off here. And we're gonna get Eric a little toy and head out. Eric's getting a giraffe. 